Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome back to another episode of Meridian Springs. And uh, so we added a couple new habitats to the zoo recently. Uh, if you don't know, I actually uh, recently returned to live streaming over on my Twitch channel. And so during those live streams, we uh, added some new habitats. The first one we added here is, of course, obviously the ostriches. And this is a really fun little habitat. Um, it's kind of sunken down over here near the main like city of Meridian. If you guys remember, so we had this area over here. It's been here for a long time. And it's actually it was actually left just undetailed uh, for a very long time. Uh, I don't remember how long ago it was uh, that we added like the king penguins here and the seals but uh all of this was here it was just not it was just not detailed so finally detailed it we added um the building for the uh the staff here who they manage uh the penguins the saltwater crocodiles and uh, uh that's it but i actually rather like this little spot over here just adding like all the grass and kind of like uh, kind of low growing plants and stuff there kind of gives it like an extra like deserty kind of feel at least in my opinion um, so I, I think that turned out really good also detailed around the track here we had this this kind of like almost looks like a retaining wall over here it originally ended about right here. So I extended it all the way over. It was kind of tricky because of course I had to like place the paths in like the most just like weird way. And it was like, I don't know, it was kind of trying to get the uh, the walls to fit in place it was a bit tricky, but I ended up working it out. I also really like uh, these sort of like support beams here. Like they're kind of just holding the thing up. I don't know, it seemed like this was like a big like a long stretch here without any supports. I feel like it needed something. So I just went with this kind of like rustic like beams that are just or logs that are just kind of holding it up. Yeah, so we have uh, the the station here for the four by four ride also added a shop here. This is actually a chief beef, um, but decorated and themed it and stuff to, you know, blend in and look like, you know, go with the theme of the uh, of the zoo we also have we've had this like kind of like lookout over the uh, saltwater crocodile habitat for a while so that's finally you know will be usable and everything um then we kind of continue on again more uh more just like details and theming lots of foliage i really i'm really happy with how it turned out we've got uh a gulpy stand here because we have a chief beef nearby, so it makes sense to also have uh, some drinks nearby. Kind of continued uh, with the like retaining wall looking uh, design there, although it's not really retaining anything, but it kind of looks like that. I like the uh, I like the just kind of like the different levels here. I think it kind of makes it uh, more interesting. But then here's the ostrich habitat so the guests get a, a nice view down into there one thing I kind of wish I had planned a little bit better because uh, if you've played this game enough you know that guests like to congregate when they're watching animals and I should have done like maybe like a little uh, you know like extended part of the path that kind of comes out a little bit so that way uh, the guests that are watching the ostriches aren't like clogging up the path for guests who are just walking through. Um, I'm sure, you know, that's something that could, we could still add. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Maybe like a, um, like two by one or two by two, uh, just square section of path that kind of comes out. I don't know how effective that would be because guests might still want to stand like around here or whatever but I don't know that's something we could do and then um, 
so we didn't really figure out like what we, during a live stream what we wanted to build next and I was like well I kind of want to just kind of keep building out this way uh, because this area this is all that's left of the zoo uh, but we what we decided to actually do is way over here is we did a proboscis uh, but I always mispronounce that I think it's pro Proboscis or proboscis maybe um, I always say proboscis when I just say it but anyway proboscis monkey habitat and I wanted to kind of go with like an elevated sort of treehouse look for their habitat and I think it turned out pretty cool I like the way it looks I also wanted the 4x4 ride to go through it but I didn't want it to just be like like at the ground I wanted it to be elevated over the habitat so uh, the cool thing is is you can get away with not using you know one of the ride gates by just having it elevated over over the habitat the cool thing about it too is uh, the the monkeys they can't get up on the track that was one thing I made sure to uh, made sure to uh, check as I was building is like we don't want the monkeys get being able to get on the track because then they could just easily they could just walk along the track and escape uh, but they can't do that and that's good uh, we also have this trench down here so you know I didn't detail anything down here but I probably should just to make it slightly more interesting but uh, this will eventually be like the the guest view uh, whenever we you know kind of build more over here but I went with the trench design because I wanted just a completely unobstructed view of the habitat so um, that's why I that's why I went with that but I think it's really cool it turned out neat uh, the monkeys they can climb up and go through all these tree houses um, I've got you know I've got like ropes that connect them this one over here is kind of by itself uh, they can get up here um, they they don't do it a lot though because for some reason you know the, the primates in this game the game the ones that can climb they just don't like to climb very often I it's just that's been an issue for as long as the game has been out but it does happen sometimes they do uh, climb up like these little rope ladders I made and we'll see them sometimes run across these rope bridges but for the most part they do kind of hang around on the ground uh, they also like to swim we'll see them swimming in the water occasionally but but yeah that's the um, proboscis monkey habitat I did have to do so you know I do I try to do null barriers as much as I can but and I like loaded up with the trees around here hoping that it would prevent them from being able to escape but there were still escape points so I just did a wall of faux rocks kind of in the middle and I kind of like the way it looks they're kind of blended in so it's not too super obvious I think it just I think it blends in with the kind of natural terrain pretty well but yeah then after that um, you know like I said this is all all that we have left in the zoo which I say that but it's still a lot of space especially if you look how teeny tiny I think that's a mechanic over there they're pretty small so this is still quite a bit of space so we'll need to try and figure out you know what other animals we want to put down here we could definitely we can still get away with uh, quite a few habitats also with the uh, 4x4 ride eventually this end is gonna have to connect back up there so we'll need to figure that out probably we'll need at least one maybe two more stations because we have one um, right here and then it comes around over here I don't know if we'd want one right here or if that would be too close or they could just ride all the way around and then have a station somewhere on this side because the then the next one is not until uh, this one over here so we definitely need at least one more station if not two so you guys let me know in the comments what you think like I'm kind of kind of thinking of going with you know one over here also this uh, stretch of track is not finalized 
Um, I, that's just kind of where I put it so that I could uh, get this over here in the habitat. But, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe one here and then one on this side as well. Or maybe like closer to over here. Might be good. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, I think that should pretty much do it for this episode. This is where we are with the zoo. I hope you like what we've done so far. Um, like I mentioned, I am back to streaming on my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash 8bit underscore Josh. Uh, I stream, I kind of have a new streaming schedule. Uh, if you want to watch Planet Zoo content, uh, I stream every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern. And Sundays are our cozy, we call them cozy Sundays. Uh, so right now it's a lot of Planet Zoo. You know, if we're not playing Planet Zoo, it'll be other similar games, uh, chill games and sims and things like that. Uh, so we would love to have you stop by. And yeah, I think that should be it. So as always, be sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I am 8 Josh, and thanks for watching. See ya.